Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're starting the next Sly game. We're talking Sly 3 here. Um, yeah, we finished 1 and 2. It's time to hit the 3rd. Um, I remember the 3rd being very, very good. Most people kind of debate whether 2 or 3 is better. Um, a lot of people say 3 is better. But 2 is almost better in the sense that it had more innovation between games. Um, and I'm actually kind of slightly inclined to agree with that point of view is that I do think 3 is better gameplay wise, visual wise, you know, but 2 did so much to improve itself. Either way, we're here uh, playing 3 and we're going to start out on an island. Now once again, I have not played this game in <clears throat> probably a decade. I was but a ye lad when I last played it so um, I do know most of the story and stuff like that but I haven't played it in a while so this should be a whole lot of fun oh just like Cooper do I have to press ok for this nope he just stands there for a while ok cool I was wondering I'm like is that stuck Oh, there we go. Okay, that was intro screen. Fun. Um, okay, so here we go. Slide three. Honor Among Thieves. This is it, Sly. The gang's assembled and are in position to help you get up to that vault. For the rest of the operation, you are the ball. Roger, Bentley. I'm starting my approach. Getting over these fortress walls shouldn't be a problem. Look, we're running five by five here. Make sure everyone's in sync. I hear that. Artillery, sure you can make that shot? I endeavor not to miss. Wonder who that is. Excellent. Radio control. In position. Recovery team. Our pumps. Submersibles. Showtime, baby. Telekinetics. I die. Right. die. Well, we know a couple right, of those people. Crime of the century and the balls in motion. Isn't that technically our vault, though? I guess, spoiler, but pretty sure that's our vault. Why does he even let me climb up here? It's obvious I, I gotta go this way. Alright, let's uh, see. I want to make sure if there's like little collectibles. I forgot how the game works as far as collectibles. I don't think there's like any like bottles or anything in the starting area. So I guess we can just keep moving on here. All the controls are mainly the same. What in the world is that? That sounds dirty actually um has stopped rolling we've got an obstruction I'm on it. Zoink. Amazon right now Thank you, old speaking man. Nice work. The ball's got a track. Over. I am the ball. I'm also round in real life, so that works out. Hello. Ball requesting door. Grenade, please. Over. Launching. Stand clear. Very epic. Alright, we make our way inside. Although, <clears throat> it would have been easier to just, uh, maybe bring a boat up to this area, and then you can just, like, climb two feet. Just saying. Come on, Sly Gang. Wasting the resources up in here. Okay. Rocks? Do, ro do, co do rocks have coins? Can I just break that? Okay, apparently I can't just break that. Okay. What? Oh, is there? Is that a lab under me? Oh, there's a homie in the water with sharks around them. That's actually kind of brave. See, this is, I think, an actual contribution to the team right here. <clears throat> this is definitely something that someone would need to do compared to, to like throwing a firework How's at something. Oh, 
Very well, Dr. M. Thank you for asking. Very thoughtful. Mm -hmm. And your son, uh, what's his name? Mike? Mark, sir. He, he's well, too. Yeah? Yeah. It's a shame you won't be seeing them again. Ah, uh, sir? Afraid I poisoned your drink at lunch. Sorry, Richards, but I don't tolerate poor performance. You should have changed the security code from one, two, three after you installed the new system. I'll improve, I swear. No, you'll die any second now. Oh. 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 What are the guys, children, bro? Yes, water leaking into the lab. I'm on my way down. Oh, and get a janitor for the lab elevator. Richards got sloppy. Okay, so that's like an actual villain. We're not talking like a cartoony haha. -ha. The man just asked him about his kids and just killed him. That's like genuinely cold. So that's that's the type of motivation I need to want to play the game. I feel like I mean, I guess the Sly Cooper is a very cartoonish game, but a lot of the villains we've met are not that bad actually, which sounds whoops. Which sounds real bad, but... Well, apparently we're trash of being a thief. Oh. Oh yeah, he literally just gave us the code. Uh, oh, I am going the wrong way. All these guys are stormtroopers. They're not going to be able to hit me anyway, so... I wonder what fits in that hole. Cooper! You must be Sly Cooper, the new keeper of the cane. Oh, how I long for this. This vault belongs to the Cooper family. You're trespassing. No, my naive boy, you're trespassing. I've got the deed to this island. This fortress is mine. Everything here is mine, which now includes Shoot him down, the Bentley. vault and of the king. Sorry, pal. Family heirloom. Buy a knockoff at the gift shop. That's right. Quick, let's regroup with the others. Follow me. All right. Let's try not to get a shot down by Monkey Boy over here. Keep coming, Bentley. Oh. Am I getting lucky, or am I actually a god gamer? I shouldn't have done that, I'm assuming. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just jumped straight into the water. Why is it flooding? We didn't do anything. Did we break something essential? Did a uh, scuba boy over there <laughs> bust a pipe? We are almost home free. Bentley is in his wheelchair now for the last game. <clears throat> the boat's just up ahead. Still using his boat. There's no escape, Cooper. Uh, put down my turtle. Put down my turtle, dude. Yeah, probably. He looks like it. Definitely looks like a carnivore. Yo, put down my boy. If he wants to eat, eat this. Skirt. While he's threw away his only weapon. Sly, no! That's actually Hold terrifying. On, Sly. Hold on. Again, this game. Maybe I don't, maybe this game does make improvements over the second. This like is so much say, better. Your life really does flash before your eyes. And the art? Mm. There it all was, stretching back to my childhood. Born into a family of master thieves that went back for generations. I was next in line to continue the Cooper name.
but fate had different plans. I was robbed of my childhood when a ruthless gang attacked our home. The orphanage I landed in wasn't all bad. It was there that I met my lifelong friends. Bentley, he's always been the thinker. And Murray, he's the doer. We'd stuck together over the years, and our skill, our confidence, and our thieving reputation grew stronger with each heist. We thought that the good times would never end, and that our luck would never run out. Which only made things tougher when the odds finally caught up with us. Then I met this guy, McSweeney, who claimed to have run with my father's crew back in their heyday. They pulled jobs all over the world and amassed quite a collection of priceless items. It was then that McSweeney told me all about the Cooper Vault. It seemed that my father, like all my ancestors, had been hiding their wealth in a secret place for generations, each one adding to the treasure hidden behind a door that if McSweeney's story is true, only a Cooper can open. Using some well-placed clues provided by McSweeney, we set out for the secret island that held the vault. On arriving, we discovered someone by the name of Dr. M had already set up shop. From the looks of it, he'd been trying to crack the thing for years, growing steadily more frustrated in his failures and more paranoid as the decades rolled by. He built himself a fortress with security as tight as Fort Knox. Getting inside the place would take precision, creativity, and moreover, it would take an army of world-class thieves. Finding and bringing together that much talent won't be easy, but to get inside the Cooper vault and collect my inheritance, I was willing to pay the price. So did we play like the future? Because it seemed like we gathered a couple people there. All right, let's do this. And the one thing again, I will give this game is the art is much, much better. Okay, <clears throat> saving. Hazard room, two player, beginning of the end. Oh. This was what we just played, right? The beginning of the end? If we're gonna make it to the Cooper vault, we'll need to perfect our thieving skills. I've rigged this place to push us to our limits. I'm guessing these levers start the different trainers. That's right. Each will initiate a streamlined crash course in grand larceny. I'll head for the control room, and we'll get things started. Dish it out. I'm ready. There goes my phone. Okay, so I'm guessing they're just going to show us the things that we've learned in past games, right? Okay. All great thieves have one thing in common. A ton of cash? No. They never get lost. Use the right analog stick to look around the hazard room. Try to find the Cooper gag marker I projected. Oh. Great. Great. Now press down on the L3 button to ping a waypoint. That's handy. I agree. These holographic markers are an invaluable tool for finding your way around in the field. Notice how the logo moves to the destination? Try clicking the L3 button a few more times to get the hang of it. Okay, head for the waypoint and we'll commence phase two. I programmed in a new mission destination. Press L3 to find it. The cool thing, perfect. Now everyone knows that a thief's best friend is a rooftop. Provided he doesn't break his neck getting up there. Not a problem for a man with your jumping skills. Hit the X button for a standard jump, then hit the X button a second time while in the air for an extra high double jump. Most standard knowledge, here we go. Alright, Bentley, what's next? As you know, it's very useful to survey guards from the rooftops. To do that, we'll have to be able to look down at them. Let me guess, use the right analog stick? Yep, try to find the marker I'm projecting down there. Seems Excellent. about right. Now look up at that pillar. Oh. I'm projecting another marker. You're really telling me to look up and down? Great. Now put all these skills to use and get to the remaining waypoints. 
Should be easy if you ping him with the L3 button and look around. Okay, Bentley. Oh, that's a camera. Oh, he just told me how to do something and instantly I clicked the wrong button. Clearly, I'm a genius. Alright, we run here. Zoink, zoink. Good job, Sly. You made it. You're now ready to take on the meanest of navigation tasks. Alright, job complete. Even though we didn't <clears throat> really do much. We're gonna do the next module here. You picked up a lot of skills after reading the previous Raccoonus. Heck of a page turner, that book. Let's see if you remember them all. Check out those small points on that wire. You can land on them light as a feather using your ninja spire jump. Easy. I just jump and hit the circle button. Exactly. Try getting over to the other platform. Okay. I mean, I'd be very surprised if Sly forgot this. <clears throat> what, has he been on vacation this whole time? Good, Sly. You know how I love the second story work. Sure, but how do you feel about tight spaces? Try getting through the small opening in that wall. Hit the circle button when you're close to crawl inside. Raccoons love small spaces, don't they? Usually find them <clears throat> in your trash. They probably love small spaces. Nice job, Sly. You're a credit to the Cooper name. That was real impressive, really. All right, <clears throat> job complete. We're all done in here. Let's head outside and get this operation underway. I agree with you, Bentley. Let's go ahead and get this get this rolling here. <clears throat> I know jumping is very hard, so I'm just glad we got through it. All right, let's go uh, do some thieving. All right, the opera of fear. Let's head inside. Start episode. Getting inside a world-class vault would take a team of world-class thieves, a group of specialists, each member contributing their own particular talent. It was clear that we needed Murray back. Not only was I missing a lifelong friend, but his brute strength helped get us out of more than a few scrapes in the past. When Bentley was injured during the whole clockwork affair, Murray blamed himself, eventually leaving the team. We tried to console him, but going out on his own was something he needed to do. He said he wanted to find his spiritual center. We got word that Murray ended up in the Australian Outback, where he studied a mystic art called the Dream Time from an Aboriginal guru. From all accounts, things went pretty well, and his teacher even sent him on a walkabout to locations all over the globe to complete the training. Latest reports have cited Murray in beautiful Venice, Italy, but what he's doing there is a mystery. I just hope he steers clear of the local mob boss, Octavio. Growing up, this guy used to be a real celebrity in the neighborhood. Everyone loved to hear him sing opera and said he was destined to be the next great tenor. But just as his career started to take off, musical tastes changed. Suddenly, it was all about rock music, and no one wanted to listen to opera anymore. He held on to a few fans, and it was these mobsters that took him into the business. Heading onto this guy's turf was dangerous, but worth it for a chance to make things right with Murray. All right. Yeah, I didn't, almost didn't realize that when we were doing that mission, well, no, I, we did see Murray. So maybe that is new. I totally forgot. I'm like, where was Murray? That makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I don't blame him. Pretty sure it's pretty traumatizing seeing your uh, turtle friend's legs get squished. Must have sucked. All right, first map of the game. I have fond memories of this map. Boom, 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 boom. I love these boats. I I remember missing the boats quite often and just basically going swimming every other minute as a kid, but 
I remember liking this map quite a bit. And I do actually remember the layout of it too, so. Okay, so we got Sly, we got Bentley. No, actually we only got Sly right now. This is this is the Okay, so we still have the same uh store system. We got smoke bomb. We're gonna have to buy that quickly because that's extremely useful on alarm clock. Okay. Well, we'll have to gather enough money to get both of those, especially the smoke bomb, fairly quickly. It seems logical to start our search at the local police station. If he's not already in custody, the cops are sure to have leads on all the crooks in Venice. Pizza, pizzeria. Give me the coinage. Right. That massive dope marks the Venetian police station. Cops around here really like to make an impression. I'm afraid it's a losing battle. Don Octavio runs the show in this neighborhood. It's his security forces patrolling the streets, not the cops. Noted. Huh. Looks like I found my way inside. Well, that dome is covered in glazed tile. There's no way to climb up there. Oh, come on, pal. There's always a way. There's a rope. Come on, Bentley. My boy does uh, Calculus 7 in his head, but... Come on, Bentley. I expect better of you, homie. Skirt! Now let's head up there. Let's see what the cops are up to. Nice climbing, partner. I've got the blueprints to the vent system in front of me. I should be able to guide you to the jail cell. Hey, Murray? Is that you? That name's a stain on my pants, bro. What? <laughs> Cooper, you got some fuzzy dice to come round here. Dimitri, long time no punch. See you're still in jail. And you still a cracker box. Let's get past the name calling and get to business. Looking for main man Murray, eh? Sorry, but I'd rather see you get busted big time. God! <laughs> Polita! Wait. Uh, okay, we gotta gotta keep him quiet. I, dude, I love Dimitri, dude. What a character. Um, flattery. Where's that He's definitely Dimitri gonna... you're so famous for? I always pegged you as the bigger man in these types of situations. I'm a big man, big with the payback and the sex appeal. <laughs> Got that end? I can throw the beat on this track. You're just the dancer. He didn't like that. All right, well, let's cut if him a deal. Those cops get their mitts on me. Who's gonna break you out of jail? You might get this cell door open, but the cops would throw down and bust me on the way out, and then I'll get the double sentence. <laughs> wow. Okay. He's right. It'll be tough getting them out of here. I need a plan. <sighs> um. Let's just How about get the cops' attention, then run for it. Once they're all outside shooting at me, you can slip out no problem. No, that's a plan I can get behind. Dimitri is free and Cooper is cooked. Key for sale is in head cut lady's office. Okay, great. This other lock won't be a problem. I should be able to crack it by hand. Get me out of here and I'll find Murray. No sweat. Just keep on the down low and out of sight near them coppers, bro. They're a bad bunch of bunnies. Alright, let's do it. Okay, phone. I was, like, I was wondering who's the head cop, but you can already see. Let me go ahead. I want to hear this. Our sources believe that this man, Don Octavio, is potentially responsible for the disaster. Unfortunately, we've got no hard evidence linking him to the pollution. I've yet to receive a warrant to search his opera house mansion, so we're just going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Get out there and keep your eyes open. I've hired you mercenaries over traditional cops because this is a dangerous assignment. The neighborhood is filled with Yo, that's a big gun! Homie's packing. Get tough, or you won't last five minutes. I'm paying for results. The city of Venice needs this situation resolved now. 
Yo, okay. can I see her? I know you boys like things redundant, so I'm going to give you the presentation. Yo, what up, Carmelita? This time, pay attention. You're not getting paid to nap. Just she, let me get she gonna my say it again? Interesting. Yo, we got Carmelita. What up? What are you doing in uh? What are you doing in Venice? Your attention, please. I thank you for your patience, but we're now ready for the presentation. Yo, how close can I get? As we all know, the canals of Venice have been at. mysteriously filling with talk what up? the last I... month. No one I feel is like sure it's not a good idea to like grab her leg, right? Our sources predict this man, Don Octavio, is potentially responsible for disaster. Dude, why is Carmelita always in like the police precinct that we're in? Head back to Dimitri's cell and free him. If he's true to his word, we'll be talking to Murray in no time. Dimitri. So let's get back to business now. Where was I? Hold tight, boys. The power's on the fritz again. It'll calm down in a few minutes. Better make sure you're under a desk when the lights come back on. Okay. Uh, can't promise anything, but sure. Oh! You look a lot better in the dark, Petro. Huh. Really? You Yo, these guys, these guys kind of look intimidating, though. Like, not gonna lie. Oh, oh, look at their guns, bro. What are you protecting? This is Venice, Italy. You're protecting, like, the local pizzeria with that? Why? Hey, good for you. Can you really crack this coconut? Sure. Just takes a light touch. Cool. Let's see some shine, bro. I swear. You spring me, and I'll hook you up with that plump dog, Murray. Big. This safe will be tough to crack, but I've seen you open harder locks. Whoop. Slowly rotate the left analog stick until you feel a vibration. Stop, then go in the other direction, again feeling for the vibration. Then a reverse direction again, and stop when you get the third vibration. Once the green light goes on, let off the stick and you're in. So I used to do in school. There you go. I'll do like I promised and distract the cops so you can make your escape. Solid. Don't worry, no mind. Straightway, I'll password for Murray to find you. Meet at Rialto Bridge, big Italian landmark. Okay, guess it's showtime. All right. I guess we got to make a big old stink now. Hello, assorted meatheads. And lady. Anyone feel like some exercise? Cooper, grab him, man. And I'm out. No, like, hello? How you doing? How's the weather? Just... Man, Carmelita. That's cold. Thought we were friends. Yeet? You've got some serious nerve showing up in my squad room. I was concerned we were growing apart. Then let's spend some quality time together in my interrogation cell. So forward? What happened to the demure girl I used to know? She grew up and stopped taking grief from guys like you. Guys like me? Are you saying I've got some competition for your affections? You're the only man in my sights right now. Oh, my bad. Wait, she cheating on us? Sure. She's always really sucked with that gun, though. Has has she ever managed to actually hit us with that? Okay. Maybe I'm trash. Zoink. I think I'm the first person in history to actually fail that part. Yeah, I am. Boing, boing, boing. Does this give me money if I break this? Wow, okay. Well, I just broke someone's boat and I didn't even get money for it. Dude, are we just heading straight to her? Oh, what up? Greetings, old Inspector Fox! Man, <laughs> you're in it again! Hope that manhole works both ways. That's right! Hide in the sewers like the rat you are! Raccoon. Thanks for the quick escape. I owe you one. Again. Of course, searcher. 
We are all in need of peace. You're really whole hog on this Dreamtime stuff, huh? My mind is clear, like the woodland after a forest fire. Listen, Murray, we need you back on the team. That thing with Bentley, it wasn't your fault. He doesn't blame you for the wheelchair. Sorry, Sly. I walk a different path. My guru, in his wisdom, told me to lose myself and not return until the black water ran pure. So here I stay. You sure he didn't tell you to get lost and not come back until you cleaned out the water filter? Come on, I'm on a real spirit quest here. Sorry, sorry. Tell me everything. I've missed you, pal. Well, it's a long and awesome story. You got any gum? Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't uh, have like Jack Black voice Murray. I think that would have been so good. I mean, look, no complaints. I like Murray's voice, but I think if they would have got Jack Black to do it, that would have made this game a masterpiece. Murray refuses to join the gang until the commitment to his guru has been fulfilled. Whether we like it or not, we've got to deal with Venice's car problems in order to, as Murray puts it, make the black water run pure. Thanks to Inspector Fox's fine detective work, we already know that Don Octavio is somehow connected. As non-law operatives, we'll be able to tackle this situation in a more head-on fashion. First, we break into Octavio's opera house. If he's hiding anything, we'll find it. We should also keep a close eye on the dog. Some photographic evidence of him connected to the tar might be enough to get the old mobster put away. Of course, meanwhile, I'll monitor local communication frequencies. With some luck, we might pick up some quality intel. Alright. Let's do it. I think we're gonna finally get to, like, explore the map. New training challenges. Um, you know what? I don't I really don't need them. But let's do it. I'm I wanna do the training things. Alright. I'm really gonna test your climbing skills oh, here. You okay. can use your cane to swing from hooks. Just jump and press the circle button again to latch on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we've done this a couple million times. If you ever get in the jam, it's smart to climb your way out of trouble. I hear that. Press the circle button near that pipe to latch on and climb. Oh! <laughs> See, I'm making fun of it, but then I actually unironically fail it, so... Lord. Do we even need to climb that? I'd rather just fall. I just love pipes. Is that okay? So she's sure said. they're a thief's best friend, but don't forget wall hooks. Oh yeah, yeah. How could I forget the lovable wall hook? We learn this at Jean Bassan's levels. Of course. I actually do not like these. Actually, they're, they're like a little weird to do. Maybe I'm just done stuff. Like yeah. I said, I give. You've made it through all my challenges. Hey, don't feel bad. Those wall hooks were kind of tricky. It was yeah. all supposed to be tricky. Anyhow, you've proven you know how to get around. A word to the wise. Anywhere you sense a thieving opportunity, you know, see the blue sparkles, you can use a circle button move. Pretty handy. Yes. Yes, it is. I think he could have combined all these in a single level to make it easy. Like, hey, do this, then this, then this, then this. I don't think it would have... I don't know why they're broken up so differently. There is one more training, though. I wonder what this one's about. All right, Bentley. Let me oh. have it. In order to maintain our lavish lifestyles, we we'll always need to have a little cash on hand. I hear you. Most guards are nice enough to carry around a pocket full of change. Exactly. You can pick their pockets by sneaking up behind them and pressing so the zero. circle button. Circle, this guy looks sorry. like he's carrying some loot. If I steal it, you can fence the goods online for some cash. Did they just like hire this Look dude? Like, hey, am I just standing in this room and just? Sure sign of something valuable. Try picking his pocket dry without getting noticed. Okay. Well, that's not hard. You just go up. This is a dude from. I think this is a dude from our from the first level. All right, give me. Okay, that's enough of that guy. Okay. It Yo, you just killed him. That easy. Guards are usually on the move. As long as I don't bump into them, it shouldn't be a problem. I feel All like right, that's horribly talker. inhumane. Try robbing this guy. You just like hire them and then instantly just kill them. 
Alright, here we go. Give me your money. A prize. Nice. Crates away! Okay. Great. Now, as any good thief knows, a job is only as successful as the getaway that's planned. I hear that. Some guards are not too keen on fighting toe-to-toe. -to -toe. You're not going to say I'm a lover, not a fighter. Well, not now. Thought so. Look, there's no shame in running from a fight. Keeps you alive. Hold down the R1 button to sprint. Sounds easy. Prove it. I'm gonna have this guard attack you, and you'll have to run away to lose him. Whoa, hold up. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Woo! Hey, he shoots fast. Bro, actually lost me in less than two seconds. Come on, bro. It's your actual profession. Nice escape, Sly. An unfortunate fact about running is that you make a lot of noise. Sprint by a guard, and he's sure to notice you. Well, if I'm already running, might as well keep going. Good point. How about you try that? Run to this waypoint within six seconds, and then try and escape from the guards if they hear you. Come on. Ready, set, go. Okay. All right. I feel like didn't we just do this, but instead it was just one guard? Yeah. That works. How about you stop setting these guards up to kill me? Well, you could always take them out instead. Now we're talking. If a guard Murder. hasn't Let's seen go. you, you could sneak up behind him. You paying attention? This is complicated. Of course. We're talking about taking out guards. Right. Sneak up behind him and hit the triangle button to knock him into the air. Then press the square button to slam him down hard. Sneak attack. Nice. So that's the triangle button to knock him into the air. Than the square button for the slam. You got it. Now give this guy the business. <laughs> the business. All right, Bentley. Here we go. Unfortunately, the slam makes noise. Do it too close to another guard, and he'll be all over you. It's easy. You take out the first guy, then hide out when the second thug comes running. Wait until his back is turned, then strike. Try taking out both these guards without being caught. Okay. Well, I can just take this dude out while he's far away. Did you hear that? Nice Easy. work. I pity the guard that crosses your path. Now for the showstopper. See that boat slog up above? That poor unsuspecting guard? Yeah. Feel like dropping it on his head? Oh, yeah. This button will release the boat. Make sure the guard's under its shadow before you, you know. This is one of my favorite parts of this game. I can't see the shadow. Look for those buttons but... around town. The place is littered with unsafe machinery. Know what I mean? Someone call OSHA, dude. Alright, we got two more training modules. And I'm not gonna send the training into the next episode, so let's just get them done. I'm pretty sure this is oh, it's one Bentley, one Sly. Uh, the humble recon photo, the unsung hero of many a caper. I've outfitted your binocular with a camera. Click down on the right analog stick to bring it up. Okay. I tell you, Bentley, you designed this thing really well. The left analog stick aims where you want to look, and the right analog... Of course, it won't always be so easy. Sometimes you'll need to get a better vantage point. That shouldn't be too difficult. Your targets can also be moving. Makes getting a good shot that much more difficult. It's okay. So long as I'm quick with the zoom, I'll be fine. Let's put it to the test. Take a picture of each of these guards without getting caught. Come on, Bentley. I'm a professional, man. I totally cut off his feet there out of frame. Maybe I'm not. No! Why are you going behind? Why are the controls inverted? Maybe I'll un in uninvert the controls in a minute here. There you go, Bentley. Some wonderful pinups for our refrigerator. They're lovely. High art. Seriously? No, but you've shown some real skill with a Monocucom's camera. Nice work. 
All right, we got one more training module. Here we go. I think this next one is for Bentley because it's green. And I actually am very curious at how to do Bentley's abilities. I'm pretty sure it's the same as last game, except now he's in a wheelchair, but... All right, Bentley. Things can get pretty rough out in the field. You'd better be prepared. Preparation is my middle name. My wheelchair is totally equipped. Good to hear. As a resident demolitions expert, you'll need to be handy with the bombs. No problem. Just have to hold down the triangle button, and out comes the goods. Okay, try dropping a bomb on that crate over there. Okay. Oh, he's fast. Can we do a... Okay, he has a little boost. He has a little attack. Okay. Yeet. Oh, why did that bounce so weirdly? That's some quality pyrotechnics, but how are your bombs versus guards? Against sleeping guards, I'm like a Greek god. All fall before me. Let's see what you got. Well, did <laughs> Greek gods, did they... I don't know if I'd give it that one, Bentley. Nice work. Now, how about someone awake? I just put them to sleep, too. My chair's been outfitted with, with the top-of-the-line sleep dart launcher. In fact, I even linked it to my binocucom. What? Smart. Crazy. So you just click the right analog stick to bring it up. Yep, we go bop. And to shoot, I press the R1 button. Have you got a zoom function on? Nice. Now, get over there and bomb it before he wakes up. Yeet. That bomb is very floaty. All right, Bentley. You make this look easy. But how's your aim against moving guards? With a zoom function and nerves of steel, I'm ready for anything. Okay. Literally made it two centimeters before I got him. He not dead. Oh my god, we didn't hit him. <laughs> We're trash. That chair is pretty sweet. Got any other gizmos in there? Oh yeah, it's my own design. The pickpocket pole, or the PPP for short. A fishing pole with a magnet? Personal Ingenious, protective huh? equipment? By default, oh, it's PPE, it's linked sorry. to the L1 button. And you can rob someone with that thing? I just keep the L1 button held down, sneak up behind a guy, connect with the magnet, then pull back to yank out the loot. Sounds just like fishing. Try it on this guy right here. What if he only has cash? I mean, it's a little harder than Sly does it, but uh, honestly, I'm just glad we can steal with Bentley now. I love that face. Okay, he served his purpose. I'm impressed with your pickpocketing technology, but how is it against someone in motion? Allow me to demonstrate. I just hold down the L1 button, attach, and pull. Couldn't be easier. So the exact same thing, except if anything, it's easier because now I don't even have to move. He just walks away on his own. He does the pulling for me. Now we go this way. Give me the loot. And you're dead. That chair of yours is a wonder. You've packed so much technology into such a small space. All right. Very cool. I like We're the upgrade. All done in here. Let's head outside and get this operation underway. Okay. I'm going to see if I can invert my controls before the end of this episode. It's the last thing we're going to do here. Okay, back to the Opera of Fear. We did the setup, right? Okay, cool. Um, so let's go out and go out with Sly. Are they gonna give me a slideshow? Okay, good, because I, I kind of know what to do. Oh, I can do a charge attack just like last game. Oh, okay, I'm like, how do I do the attack? That makes sense. Okay, and last thing before we um uh, before we skedaddle here. Ba -dum -ba -dum -boom. Okay, well, maybe we'll figure it out later. Anyway, we're 40 minutes in, so we're going to end the episode off here. Next game, we'll start the game itself. So, guys, thanks for watching.